All right, um, all the shaping has been done. It's gone along here, and, and here's where we are right now. Uh, the leading edge looks just like this. It's just a series of flats, all done with the plane. Now it's time to sand. As I've said before, uh, particularly on the, uh, the videos that we did for the rudder, use a 60 grit uh, sanding block. This is 60 grit and use new paper, use sharp paper because if you don't you'll be uh, tempted to press harder and harder to get a result and the result will not be what you want. You want the sandpaper to do all the cutting with a very light touch. So here's how you do it. You lay the, I'm not even going to move the pad, you just lay the pad, pad I, I call it a pad, it could be called a block, and you can really feel where the rib is going to end and the, and the leading edge is going to begin. And you just feel it and do this. See? Just bring it around. As the first few strokes are going to feel awkward and clumsy and they're going to bump. Now, this line should stay there right to the very end. If you're starting to take out this line, obviously you've gone too far, and good luck. Uh, but this is what you want to do. And all I'm doing is rounding out the flats. Your biggest ally in all of this is your sense of touch. You can tell the difference with your fingers with just a few thousandths of an inch, so you can certainly feel where this is going. There's no magic to this other than to say patience. See, I'm just picking up the angle and bringing it around. The other thing you don't want to do is just work all in one place, kind of like I'm doing, but I'm doing this for the benefit of the video. You really should be working the whole leading edge sort of all at once. Must be a better way to say that, but let's just, this is the idea. And you can feel, I'm going to wrap it up with a little, primarily what you want to do is just bring it this way. Seems a little odd at first, but... Oh, by the way, I put, uh, with a ballpoint pen, see on these ribs? I put uh, little marks there. So that tells me they're starting to fade. I'm getting really close and need to, need to stop. Okay. Now, I'm not, I'm not done. Obviously, I have to do the other side, but I'm getting very close. Once I have this shaped... Once I have it shaped and not before, then take your 100 grit and come over and do a finished sand. And it'll just be so nice. That's probably all you're going to need to do is 100 grit. I'm getting a little... I'm going to have to go back over this with the, uh, with the 60, but I just wanted to show you approximately what you're, what you're going to do. Again, it's a hand tool, and you just, you don't go any faster than you want to. You could take all day to do this if you want to. Um, well, I'm not done. I'm going to guess I will spend 30 minutes just being gentle, taking my time, feeling, feeling that coming, come around, come right into shape. You ought to do both sides. Keep alternating back and forth. So you can just feel the nose of the rib come right in. Here's a high spot. I'm gonna, yeah. See that sense of touch is really, really important. Well, that's the idea. And uh, when you're all done, uh, uh, believe me on this, even though this wing in some respects looks a little crude now, by the time it's final sanded, 
and and covered it it will just look great so see you next time